Before we start to learn how to represent number by using the abacus, let's see some important part of abacus that we need to know. Okay, the first one is the rod so this rod is represent the place value so in year one we just focus in place value once so this rod is place value once and place value tens and this one is place value tens and then okay we also need to know the value of the upper bits so this is the upper bits which each upper bits represent value of five and then this is the lower bits and it's represent the value of one each of the bits represent once let's start with number one so for number one we use the lower bits at the place value once rod so move up so this is one, two, three, four. And for number five, we will move down the lower bits and move down the upper bits as each bits represent five. Six. So five and one is six. Seven, five. And two is seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So for number ten, we start to use the tens rods. So we write tens as one and zero. That's mean at one rod we will clear it. And make it zero so this is zero here and then at the 10 speeds we will move up the lower bits one lower bits so this is one and this is zero so it's become number 10 11 one and one is 11 12 one and two is 12 13 1 and 3 is 13 14 1 and 4 is 14 15 1 and 5 is 15 16 17 18 19 so same goes to 20 so 20 is 2 and 0 so clear the bits at place value once so this is 0 and then here is remove another so 2 1 2 2 and 0 is 20 okay let's say we want to represent number 35 so 35 is 3 and 5 so here 5 so move down the upper bits 5 and then here is 3 move up the lower bit 3 lower bits 1 2 3 so this is 3 this is 5 it's become 35 let's see another example if we want to represent 93 93 so 93 is here is 9 and here is 3 so 3 move up 3 bits 1 2 3 so here we move up 9 so for 9 we use the upper bits move down the upper bits 5 7 8 9 so 93 93 another example let's see 34 1 2 3 
four. So here is four, here is three. So it's become thirty-four.